what I wanted to showcase in this video, uh, the lighting is probably going to be quite poor. I'll have to use it a different way. But I, I ended up recently buying a load of like vintage clothes. Uh, or like thrift clothes, like secondhand clothes. Uh, mainly Adidas and mainly too extra, too extra large. Just as I, I like the fit of the shoulders. Uh, I've been wearing like the same terrible clothes like the last few years. Like particularly with hoodies and like t-shirts. Even the t-shirt I'm wearing now, I'm not going to show it. Uh, but I've been wearing the same crap. And so I, I have a sort of bit of a problem with clothes where like... A lot of the newer stuff and nicer stuff that I've got, like I've never worn. Like I've, I'll get these out of the end. I'll get this. This isn't thrifted. This is the stuff I've bought. But this is like new and I've never worn it. And the thing is, I won't wear it around the house, right? Because uh, bless her little heart, we've got like the cat and stuff. And so if I like pick up the cat or have the cat in it, it just gets ruined. You know, there's hair all over it. You get, you get the whole claws get poured in and everything. And then if I'm eating or something, it's going to get marks. Uh, I mean, this was actually some classic I got ages ago. <laughs> It's actually inverted. It's just a, it's just a jumper. But if you like this, you know, leave a like. I'm just gonna go through my wardrobe a bit, uh, wardrobe a bit here a bit about the classic, more vintage Adidas stuff I picked up. I actually got this a few years ago, and this is actually still one of my favourite jumpers. Um, I actually worn this one quite a bit. It's not that comfortable, but the fit's really good. If I can actually grab it, it's just a really nice beige shirt, and this has got to be old. It's even got like the classic sort of logo. So it's gotta be old, but they definitely, I, this is kind of the era of Adidas that I kind of remember as a kid, and even like all the styles of them are really cool. Um, I mean the one I just got out and showed is pretty cool, let's, uh, let's do this one, I've got, I've got a slightly newer dropper there, but I wanted to go through the stuff I recently got, because I've never really bought sort of close men, and they say these are second hand, from like second hand sort of thrift shops, most of these, have, I've needed to clean all of these, even though some of them were clean. I think some of this wasn't, this one wasn't from a thrift shop. This was from just a, a normal seller that was selling a load of hoodies. And annoyingly, this was seem like brand new, but it's got this like moth damage on it, and it is kind of hairy. It came from clearly a very hairy household. Uh, but basically, yeah, I ended up getting like these two for what less than like probably like ten pounds. I got this one for like ten pounds, and I think I got this one for about fifteen quid. I didn't really ever spend more than that. This one feels like it's never been used, and this one again's got to be an old one. Yeah, again, this is a similar age. And you got the thrift store, Messina Hembry, there you go, there's a little little tag. But again, this is like another classic one. I don't know what this sort of dates it as. I'm not too in the know. But I, I kind of just got it to wear around. But then it's actually turned out it's a lot nicer. I mean, look at the size of that arm, dude. What the hell? You don't get that like real estate now on like clothes, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, if I if I drop those over there and then we just carry on going through, I think that's the easiest way. Uh, this is another one I got recently. It's actually alright, it's kind of luminous, I was just like, eh, I don't know, I think this might be a, a football team or something, but I don't really know, but this one's definitely a lot more worn, it feels a lot more worn, it's been washed like normal, it hasn't been put inside out, so it's kind of bally, like this is all really, this is all really rough, it's still really comfortable, it's still a nice warm hoodie, this is actually quite thick, and the ones I just showed are quite thick, apart from that blue one was quite thin, I guess. Uh, that plain blue one and then this again these are all about like 10 15 pounds for like free delivery this might be from the same the same previous store or whatever but this is similar to this other piece that I got years ago and I never wore I got this years ago and it's really wide sort of oversized oversized sort of hoodie and again this is like really thin um, if I can actually have this not fall off when I'm trying to showcase it. But I got this like brand new a few years ago, and again, I've like never worn it. I literally haven't really. I went and bought a load of nice clothes for myself, and then I never really decided to leave the house again because of COVID. Um, and then I lost all my friends and everything else, so that was great. Um, that was really fun. I also bought this as well, which is like a massive, massive oversized, a massive oversized billboard. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever wear that in public, like, ever. And I've barely worn it around the house because of what I said at the beginning. It's kind of too nice. Um, I don't know. I just, I kind of, I just kind of ruin clothes. So it'd be, as soon as I wear it, I should just wear it. I'm trying to get over it. Basically, this is kind of me getting over it. But I kind of bought this and it has been worn maybe a little bit. But I think it's just mainly sitting in someone's closet. Like, it's just a bit worn around here. 
But I was really happy with that. Again, that's like 15 quid. So I'm almost like, even now, I feel like, oh, that's too good. I can't wear that. But I, I will. I'll try and wear that. Uh, here's a kickboxing hoodie I got second hand. Well, not second hand. No, I got this from TK Maxx years ago. And I've started to wear that. So it's just a plain, it's just a plain 2XL. It's nothing, nothing too special with that. Um, what else have we got here? This is something I bought new. It's a, it's a reversible hoodie slash like coat I actually took out. I actually went for a walk yesterday, contrary to my video I last made before this. I actually went for a walk in this yesterday. It's one of my favorite jackets. It's really comfy. And again, yeah, it's like reversible and it's also waterproof. I really like that piece. Uh, that one's quite expensive, but it was definitely worth. Uh, what else have we got here? I want to show. I'm not going to do too long. Let's do a show, probably these last few pieces, and then that's it. So, again, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I can't really do more videos like this unless I actually go out, I guess, and actually start trying to thrift in shops, which I used to do with like vinyls and stuff. But now, this is more like eye-catching right this was like something i kind of saw i kind of saw this online and i was like oh massive kind of cool logo and adidas adventure it looked worn and you can still see it's got kind of some of these permanent marks and it's got kind of a nice sort of zipper massive pocket on the front here massive it's quite a thick hoodie probably one of the thickest hoodies i've actually ended up picking up uh for sure and i, I wore this like immediately this is really nice i might even wear this now after this video to be honest because um, that's kind of what I was doing. I was just going to wear a hoodie today, and then I thought, ah, oh, I was meant to do a video about this. I ain't doing any gaming at the minute. I have lost all interest in gaming right now, so this is this is kind of what we're getting if I'm doing a video. So again, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, but yeah, again, this has obviously had some love. Uh, very wide, very wide. Again, not kind of what I want, particularly being a bit overweight at the minute. But even when I was really skinny riding the bike, I just loved this sort of oversized style. And again, I've got really wide shoulders, so. Being a, the Adidas, particularly the old school Adidas, really do fit me well. And as soon as I found that, I've kind of just, I just kind of stick with it now. And again, it's a very 90s thing. Gosh, there's some really nice 90s pieces they've done, but I imagine they're all really collectible now. You know, people want money from. I haven't worn this yet. This is another adventure piece. I don't know if this is broken. I don't think so. No. I haven't actually worn this yet. I just saw this as like, this was, I think, part of one of the others I showed with the moth damage. This came from the same seller, and again, this was like eight pounds. And I don't think this has really worn that much. And this is definitely a, it, it's definitely fared better than the other one. It hasn't got as much cat hair on it. But I mean, I might even wear this now, to be honest. Isn't it? It's got like a fleece insert. I might wear this now. I haven't worn this yet. But I've kind of still seen there's a few stuff for still. St yeah, there's still a few nice pieces for sale. But a lot of people are asking for too much, in my opinion. You know, some people are asking for over 25 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds plus delivery. And I think I think for me for this, for this for me is like if I can get a nice cheap hoodie that I like and then I'm happy to wear if the cat wants to destroy it hey it's not the end of the world you know I feel a bit better about it I don't know there's something obviously psychological there about having like say a new piece like this I mean I just don't know maybe it's knowing how much I spent on it I think this is a bit more this has actually already got a mark on it I don't know that looks more like a fingerprint maybe it's dust or something because so I've not actually worn this and again I bought this new it's got like a nice embroidered logo in the back i bought this new a couple of years ago it's probably like faded. i don't know if that's meant to be off white or that's faded but this has never been cleaned obviously this is probably quite dusty really uh and this is a thick one but yeah like this so like this is like really nice i kind of bought it to go out in and then i've never been anywhere um so it's kind of it's kind of where i'm at with a lot of this and then this is a similar one i got i think i got this one second hand i have worn this out i wore this to a convention a while ago a couple of years ago uh, and this is alright, this is slightly thinner actually now that I feel this I should probably wear this more but it's again it's breaking that barrier, this would probably fit quite well if I got another nice white one I'd probably I'd probably put this into the rotation of like wearing this in my rotation now I mean I'm kind of the same for this right, you should say oh this is old, you should just have this and wear it out but I actually think this is quite a smart jumper, I like that I really like that. I think, it, I, if I'm to be honest, it goes really well with my car, so that's kind of what that's all about. Uh, these two, oh, this piece, dude. Oh, okay, okay, if you've made it this far, this is probably my, my favorite piece I've ever bought, secondhand. And I, I haven't done this for a long time. I think that's basically it. Got my roadkill hoodie that took years to get here, but whatever. Roadkill kind of ended after that, ironically. I think they're still going, but whatever. Oh, dude. I guess I haven't really looked at these actually. I, I, I look for hoodies now. I don't really look for jumpers. 
What is this? Oh, blue logo, Cambodia. I don't, see, I don't know what's special about this. I have no idea. I don't know if it's even collectible, but I got this and I was like, instantly, I want more of that. I guess you could say this is probably what started it. Because um, again, I got this, like, this is, this is actually probably one of my first pieces I got years ago. I got this, uh, I got this, gosh. Oh, when did I get this? Probably near enough just after I got my car. Oh, and it still feels great. I can feel this has barely been worn. This feels literally brand new. I've worn this, like, I think, like, once for a little bit. And then I, I kind of still liked it too much. And then I just haven't worn it. So hopefully someday I get the balls to actually wear this and go out somewhere wearing this. Why? Why has it got a random zip there, dude? I think that's just kind of it. Yeah, so you've just got a random flailing... <laughs> Oh, dude, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's just a jumper. There's no logo on the back or anything, as I showed, but it's just like the cut of it. The cut of it's like perfect, and if I was to do a clothing line, which low-key I do want to do a clothing line ideally, this is the kind of clothes I want to be doing. I mean, if I need to go and visit an actual place to make something like this, then I'll, I'll do it. But this is kind of the, the actual cut. You've got good shoulders, you've got a good, like lateral width, you know, an athletic sort of fit, and then there's long, there's a long length to it as well, you've got a cool logo, it seems like a lot of that now, just, it, that's not really how clothes are now, right, and so that's what this is for me, is, and I, I would like to get more, but as I said, I've done this on a modest, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not earning anything really at the minute, as anyone would really know, so, with the limited money that I do have, then it's like kind of, well, I just, I, I, a few of these pieces have been quite nice. This has been nice. I've worn this one quite a lot. Um, I guess I can finish up with these two because the last two pieces I've kind of got, uh, they, they're not really so odd. So this is a very similar piece. This could even be fake, to be honest. Uh, I've never been too sure about this. I am sport game day or any day. It's all right. That cut, the cut's similar, but I would say maybe this one's a little bit smaller. Is it not a 2XL? No, it's an XL. So I think if this was a 2XL, this would actually be kind of perfect. But that one's a little bit smaller for me, and I think this is the same. I think this is just an XL. Yeah, it is. So these two are a little bit smaller on me, which is fine. But I think the 2XL is definitely where it's at for me. But eh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video again. I don't always do videos like this. I guess, you know, if you want to see me go thrifting for clothes, or even how I do it online, I guess leave a comment or a like, anything like that, and I'll, I'll kind of do more, you know, if I get good feedback, basically I'll, I'll do more videos like this, so, and this is just my wardrobe, it's kind of a mess, you know, I've got, I've got a various, various history of fragrances and stuff I've always liked, and I mean, this is probably my favourite, this is kind of why I really like this Street Fighter, that's cool, but, you know, again, if you want, you know, just like the video if you want to see that sort of stuff, and thank you for watching.